Hello everybody, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video, it's going to be the final video of our baby name generator website tutorial series where we are going to implement the add to favorites button. Okay, cool. So if you were following along in the kind of previous videos, you should be up to this point where we have the historic name section. Uh, there's a few places obviously where we're going to have to implement this button is, is this part here in the kind of the, the button underneath the actual name and in the historic name section because uh, when we're down here we also have uh, a heart button uh, so it's going to kind of bring together everything we've been learning about state uh, passing state around and passing actions and reducers uh, which is the first thing that we're going to have to create we're going to have to create a new action uh, called um, add to Fave, add to favorites. Fave name, I'm going to call this this action add to favorites. Uh, it's going to fire off an action called add to fave name to expose this down here, which is going to be down here. And then I'm going to go into my reducers because obviously we need to handle this action now. Uh, and this is going to be the uh, favorites reducer because we're going to need another section in our store. Um, so if you look in our store, we don't have anywhere at the minute where we store favorites. We have the history filters and the current name, but we don't need favorites. So we're gonna to have to add a new one there. Uh, again, this is gonna be a list and this is gonna take an action. Um, and we're gonna kind of do very similar to what we did up here. So we're gonna say, uh, if action type is add uh, fave name, very simply here, we're just gonna take the action.payload and concatenate that to state. I think that's all we need to do because we just wanna build up a big, I might even do this the other way around, do state .concat action payload. And in fact, I don't even want that in a list because uh, we're just gonna be concatenating this object. Uh, favorites reducer, let's expose this down here. So now if I reload this, zoom out a little bit because it's actually too big for me to see, you can see we have a new part in our state called favorites, which is just an empty array, which will store all our favorites. We now obviously need to wire in this action to fire off when we click this button. Uh, so we can close this. I'm gonna take the add, I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard so I've got this. Uh, first off, let's add it to this button up here. So we need to go into buttons container, do map dispatch, do prop, so add to faves. It's gonna take a kind of payload because uh, we need the forename and uh, let, let's, let's be consistent name, add to faves. And has this auto imported? Yes, it has, cool. So we've got add to favorites from our actions that's come in. We need a little comma on the end of there. So we now pass this through to buttons. We can now pop this out of here, add to favorites. And then uh, where's the add to favorites? We can say uh, on click, uh, what do we wanna do? We want to fire off a method that says add to favorites. Uh, and we want to say the for name is equal to current name dot for name and the surname is equal to the current name dot surname and that should be that all we're doing is basically when we're uh, clicking this add to favorites button it fires this on click event which fires off this action uh, which adds this object to the array so if i then uh, reload this and click uh, hayden add to favorites and then come into the oh something went wrong there didn't it add to favorites is not a function because i called it add to faves so i should always keep stuff consistent guys uh, don't listen to me because i'm being a fool so store dot get state you can see we've got nothing in our favorites there at the minute you probably can't see that because it's so small and then i go hit add to favorites nothing breaks but in our favorites now we have one item in the array which is for name undefined does typo so let's try this one more time add to favorites and you can see we've got Hayden software in it. If I go new name, new name, new name, Jasmine software engineer, and then you can see I've got Hayden and Jasmine software engineer now. Nice, cool, so we're adding them to our favorites. Uh, there's one more place we need to add it to is here. So when I click this button, we need to also add that to our favorites. So let's wire that in now. So I'm basically going to lift and shift this entire thing here into our saved names container. Uh, and then I need to say, I need to make a const map 
dispatch to props, which is going to take dispatch. In fact, what I might actually just do is go to buttons container, copy that. There you go, make sure I make no typos that way then, because you know how much I love a typo. Match dispatch to pop goes in there, so we've got state and props now. This needs to come in from actions, uh, that can sit there. Add to faves, goes through to save names now, so let's copy that. This goes through to save names, so we can say add to faves equals pass that method through. We also need to pop that out of there, go into historic names, pop that out of historic in from the props out of historic names, and then uh, on click, when somebody clicks this button, we want to do exactly the same thing, don't we? Where we say um, add to faves. Uh, for name is oh how do we get the full name here oh it's just name dot full name and surname is name dot surname and I think I probably spelled that wrong because I bet you have um, cool so that's adding that to faves now so if I refresh this uh, if I go new name I've got let's say I really like uh, Selma and I click the store like state and I click the uh, Selma favorite name. You can see Selma software engineer. It's been added there. So that was pretty easy actually. Once we, you know, you've got all the actions to, to fire in the containers are basically like, you know, your entry point for all this kind of stuff, which is really nice. Uh, so the final thing we need to do now is basically just list out these favorite names. So what I'm going to do is come out of historic names. Oh yeah, no, perfect. Lift and shift this. I'm going to make one called favorite names, which takes in uh, favorite well for the minute it's going to take in nothing but we're going to have to pass this in uh, so this is going to be imported from from uh, favorite names from favorite names create a new file called favorite names dot js so i'm going to take a start name and basically going to lift and shift that and call this one favorite names export favorite names uh, well we can basically work with this right can't we because we're going to pass in some names which are going to be favorites uh, we're not going to have add to favorites because add to favorites is already there uh, this one's called favorite names we're going to render each name it's going to have a button on it is it going to have a button nope so we can get rid of that uh, and our favorite names we just need title for anything favorite names. It's actually pretty easy this one because you're just displaying the list, right? You don't need to do anything fancy here. So favorite names is just that, unless I'm mistaken. Let's tidy this up a bit. Uh, cool. We're obviously going to need to pass in the names now. So you can see we've got favorite names. Ooh, why are they not? I want them to spread out. Spread out. Why are you not spreading out? If I go into save names.css width is like 100% when you say that. Yeah, cool, nice. Now they're nice and spread out. We just need to pass names in here and this should all magically throw through, flow through. So this is going to be favorite names. And I hear you ask, how are we gonna get favorite names? Well, we're gonna get them by passing them in from our saved names container, which is here. And what's our saved name, what's our favorite names gonna be? It's just gonna be state.favorite names. That should be that, right? So if I go add name, add name, add name, I really like Una. That doesn't seem to have worked. So why has that not worked? Because I can see favorites. Ah, oh, because I've not called it favorite names, I've called it fave. In in the um, in the store it's called state.favorites, not favorite names. Refresh. Uh, so if I go new name now, uh, let's say I really like Xena. Add to favorites, it appears there. Lovely. Have a new more. I really like uh, Cora. So that's that button working. Oh, let's go Ida. And lovely, Ida appears there in favorite names. Fantastic. Uh, cool, that was really easy. 
again because we were basically just building on everything we did before. So yeah, there's a couple extra things that I'm not going to implement in this video. Things like uh, in my original uh, thing, I have a cross here. So if I don't want one, I can uh, click them and they go like here, Jacob Blogs leaves. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys to work that out now because I think I've given you enough to kind of work on for now. Other things as well, like if I do put Jacob Blogs back in, you can see I can't now click this add to favorites button because he's added. And similarly, uh, if I want to put this one in, this button gets blocked. So how would you basically work out that is the is the name that I'm on in the favorites? And if so, I need to uh, block it, uh, block people from clicking it. So that's kind of a little uh, take home homework task for you there. And then there's also these um, that need to get styled. Um, I think it should just be a, a case of passing um, a class name into this list item and then uh, having it expand a little bit more. But again, I'll let you guys work that one out because um, otherwise this video gets very boring and me just debugging a little bit. Cool, there we go. We have completed our baby name generator website. So we've taken you kind of from no experience of Redux all the way through to implementing a quite a complicated little website. Although it's one page, there's lots of things going on here and lots of things, you know, reacting to different things. And when you click buttons, stuff state changes and, and stuff's getting updated. So quite a good, a complex project. This is actually the project I did for myself when I wanted to learn Redux and how it worked with React and it gave me a really good understanding of what's going on. All the source code is obviously on GitHub, uh, there'll be a link in the video description. I do hope you enjoyed this video tutorial series. If you have any comments uh, or feedback, uh, please drop them in the comment section below. I will read and take a look and then the next ones I make, obviously, will I'll try to take them on board. Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial series. I hope you found something from it. Please like, subscribe, thumbs up. Uh, helps me out, helps me make more videos, gives me kind of more motivation to do so if I know you guys are enjoying them and, um, you know, getting a lot from them. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. See you later.